Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna be trying out a new foundation. You guys already know that's my thing. I love trying out any foundations that claim to be full coverage, perfect for oily skin people like myself. And this foundation claims to be really good for that. This is the new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I love the packaging. It feels super heavy and luxurious for only being $15. I'm all here for it, you guys. I get super excited when new drugstore foundations come out because I'm tired of spending $42 or more for foundations. I mean, I like it sometimes, but you know, my bank account cannot keep up with that. So I'm just super excited for a new drugstore foundation. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are too because some of you guys requested me to try this foundation out. So here's the video. In case you guys are new to my channel, I have oily skin, I have texture, I have pores, especially right here on my cheeks. My face is doing a lot better since the last video I uploaded. I had an allergic reaction to a foundation. I'll get into that later. But yeah, I also have a foundation playlist, which I'll link somewhere here in the cards and my shade range for other foundations will be in the description box below so all that being said if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit the little notification bell if you do have it on let me know in the comments below and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it all right guys so i went ahead and zoomed the camera in i know my camera has a filter i do not know how to remove it i just cannot remove it so i'm gonna do my best so you guys can see how my face looks like without any makeup on so like always, my brows are done, eyes are done, lashes are on as well. So all we have to do is finish up the rest of my face. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I picked out the shade 10.5 and also F12. I'm not sure which shade I am. So we're gonna be seeing which shade we are today. So I really do like the packaging. It's exactly like the concealer, but in a bigger tube. And also the concealer is plastic and this time it's like actual glass so it feels super nice it has the same like applicator as the concealer does really big it reminds me of the Tarte foundation I forgot the name of it I never tried it because the shade range sucked so it does look like that so I'm gonna go ahead and see hopefully 10.5 is my shade I think it does look like my shade what do you guys think it has like that perfect warm tone underneath it and if it's too light I can always darken it up with F12 which is definitely more olive I guess you can say. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. Like always, I'm only gonna prime half of my face and then the other half, we're gonna leave it alone to see which side applies better. So for primer, I'm gonna be using three primers. I know I'm being super extra, but I literally just got this in my BoxyCharm um, look subscription thing. So I've been wanting to use it a little bit more often in case it comes loves this. So I'm literally gonna apply this in half of my face just like this and I'm gonna let this just dry a little bit and then for my cheeks right here since I did have an allergic reaction you guys I know in my last video my face looked horrible which is one of the reasons I have not been uploading videos for almost two weeks because my face was just doing bad it's just been one of those weeks that I just do not want to be seen hopefully you guys can relate to that so that's where I've been you guys I just have not been in the mood to just do anything but I'm back so since my face had an allergic reaction I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer right here on my cheek area and then on my T-zone I'm gonna be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer I actually do like this primer it does keep me pretty mattified which I do like all right guys so my face is primed and ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade 10.5 I feel like that's gonna fit me better and I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything out with the Spicy Shock um, Egg Blender I kind of even talk i like the beauty sponge a lot they sent it to me and i've been loving it you guys ever since i got it i've been using it i like how it has just a bunch of different like size to do different things with it's just amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this right here and while i apply it i'm gonna reach you guys what they are claiming to do with this foundation so this foundation claims to be a lightweight yet buildable coverage in 24 skin true shades this versatile foundation is designed to suit every skin time and tone with an oil-free yet creamy and comfortable formula that dries down to a long lasting demi matte finish which I am interested in to see that it won't settle into fine lines or cling to dry patches and it also says this foundation offers highly pigmented coverage that can be layered or diffused to suit your look 
All right, babe. So this is how everything looks like for now. Me gusta mucho. I like how um, I feel like this is like my perfect shade. What do you guys think? I like how this is literally one layer and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation at all. I like how it blended with the sponge and this is the side with no foundation and this is the side with foundation. I feel like it looks really natural, not cakey at all. It is definitely full coverage, like buildable, medium to full coverage i feel like i can still add one more layer here on my cheeks i do like the applicator a lot it makes it easier just for me to dot see like i need more coverage here i go in apply so here on my cheeks and then i can just easily blend it out so i do feel like it's perfect for saving product and it's just so affordable as well and it layers on pretty amazing as you guys can see, it doesn't look cakey at all. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and move on to this side. So far, you guys, I am shocked that this is only $15 and it works this good. Like, I'm really surprised. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side of my face. All right, and then for this side, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it with my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like with the, um, with the brush. I like it, but I'd rather use it with the sponge. I don't know why. I just feel like it applies more even and more beautiful, if that makes any sense. I do think we found the perfect shade. I think F12 will be a little bit too dark for me. So I'm going to go ahead and apply one more layer. And then for this layer, I'm just going to blend it in with my beauty sponge. But so far, from having a primer, it is blending pretty smoothly on my skin. And it doesn't emphasize any texture that I have right here on my cheeks. Because usually foundation tends to just literally just sit there on my pores. So we're going to go ahead and conceal our eyes. It's just fitting to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Defy Concealer. So I'm in the shade C7. It's a little bit too light for me, but we can always make it work. So I'm going to apply this under my eyes. They also came out with the jumbo version of this concealer. So if you love this concealer and you want a bigger size, they do have it now. So since that is a little bit too light for me, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop concealer in the shade 30. I'm going to apply this under my eyes. I love ColourPop concealer, you guys. And I did this little combination a couple days ago and I was obsessed with it. And I love how it's just drugstore and affordable. Okay, and then just to set under my eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in Light Medium. I noticed that I do not really like using translucent powder to set my under eyes. I feel like no matter what translucent powder I use, it's still too light for me. Like every time I just take the excess off with a brush or something, it's still too light for me. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. But I honestly feel like translucent powders ain't that translucent. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to be setting it with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in C4. I've been obsessed again with the MAC Studio Fix line. I've been really liking it, so I'm going to go ahead and set that. And then for bronzer, I'm going to be using this Benefit Hula Bronzer. I feel like this is like the perfect shade to contour your nose with and also your cheeks. I really like this bronzer. And I'm going to be using a Morphe R14 brush. I did mention on Instagram that I picked up the new Jaclyn Hill uh, Masters Collection brushes. I still haven't used them. If you guys still are interested to see a review on those brushes, please let me know in the comments below so I know what to film next. All right, and then like always, I'm gonna add some blush. I've been loving the Wet n Wild in the shade Mellow Wine, and I'm using a Sigma Spotlight Duster at 37 brush. Honestly, you guys, everything's applying beautiful. Like, I don't even see my pores. Like, what pores? Like, I am so happy right now with this foundation, and I love how it's drugstore. So I think we have a winner here, but like I said, we always have to wear it out for a couple hours see if it acts weird or anything all right and then to highlight my face i'm gonna be using one of my favorite highlighters this is the makeup revolution soap palette i love makeup revolution you guys i just noticed so let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see a full face makeup revolution because i feel like i pretty much have everything except uh, i need a brow pencil and pretty much that's it i honestly do love makeup revolution so yeah you guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup i need to finish up my eyes and lips if you guys are interested to know what i use for my eyes lashes and lips check the description box below so let me do that and then i should be right back 
All right, guys, so I went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup and put my earrings back on. I'm honestly obsessed, you guys. Obsessed. Me encanta tanto esta foundation, you guys. Like, I am obsessed with it. I love the price. I love the actual packaging. I thought I wasn't going to like the applicator, but I think it makes it a lot easier just to go like that in your face and just blend it out with a beauty sponge. It's my favorite way to blend this foundation out. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the shade, what you guys think of how my makeup looks like, because right now I am obsessed. I did end it up just going in with 10.5 and i'm in love you guys so for all my foundation twins out there 10.5 is our shade so right now it is 12 52 um as you guys can see right there it's a sunday today so i started my makeup pretty late but that's okay because i'm gonna be wearing this throughout my whole day i'm gonna get a good eight hours or more in this foundation claims to be long wearing it doesn't say like a 12 hour wear or 24 hour wear but it does say long wearing so we're gonna be testing that out so yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you all go and I should see you guys in a couple of hours. All right, you guys, so I am back. It is officially 9.26, as you guys can see right there on my phone. It's acting weird, I don't know why. Um, it's been eight hours, about to be nine, and I'm honestly super impressed about how my makeup is looking like right now. Everything looks so good, you guys, and I have not retouched or even touched my face the whole day, like at all. And I honestly cannot see a difference between the prime and the non-prime side i'm gonna go ahead and grab a close mirror to look at myself but yeah you guys i honestly think this foundation is just amazing and for only being 12 dollars, i looked it up online it's 12 dollars, not 15 dollars. this foundation is a must for everybody like everybody needs this in their makeup collection even if you have drier to normal skin i feel like this foundation will work for you because i do have more of a little bit of a dry spot here on my face it's not super drying or not too matte but for some reason this lasts a long time in your skin like the texture in your face is just amazing so i do feel like this foundation will work for everybody even only skin people like me it just looks amazing you guys on both sides like i can still see my contour my highlight on both sides i honestly don't even think you need a primer with this foundation because like i don't see a difference at all if i have to say one area that is definitely coming off it'll have to be my nose but other than that you guys it's amazing and I love it so much. So I definitely recommend everybody to try this foundation out. It is oily skin approved. I really like it. I really recommend it to everybody that's been eyeing it or just wondering my opinion on this. It's really good, you guys. Also, I wanted to say that I've been wearing this lip color the whole day without retouching my lips. I ate and everything, and it's still on, you guys. In case you guys are wondering, I line my lips like always with the NYX Brown Lip Liner, and then I use... Where is it at? It's right here. I use this Tori Lala lip color. This is a liquid lipstick in the shade Full Monty. It's a matte liquid lipstick. They sent me over a bunch of their colors and I decided to test it out today and I'm honestly super impressed. Like, wow. So in case you guys are wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, is this one and I definitely recommend it. That's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Thank you all so much for taking time of your day to have some beauty talk with me um, and also showing me so much love and support here on my channel. If you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, make sure you guys do. It's at JacquelineTaisha, so go show me some love over there as well. Well, yeah, you guys, I hope you all are having a wonderful day or night wherever you're watching this video and I shall see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.